Well, you know, 2021 started with us uh, getting a hard lesson about uh, being ready and, and, and preparing yourself. And, you know, a really good Monacan football team came over here and humbled us. And, and uh, you know, we, we showed up the next week and, you know, I kept on hearing about what we did not have in the off season and what we did not do. And we told the kids, we're, we're tired of hearing that. So this is what we're going to do. And we basically went old school. We went back. Uh, Monday through Wednesday was our off season, and, and and things started changing. The kids started, uh, you know, getting back to Manchester football, and and they really finished on on a high note. And I think we probably were uh, one of, if not the hottest teams in the state, uh, coming off that big victory against Hermitage, and you know we were primed to, to face Island Springs, at, you know, in the regional championship. And you know what, COVID hit, and you know, 2021 kind of. Uh, showed that it, it, it wasn't over. How disappointing was the finish the last spring? Uh, it was very unfortunate, but I take it as a learning lesson. Got to learn how to persevere through these challenges and move on. <laughs> Did you talk about it at all this offseason? Uh, yeah, I talked about it a lot with a lot of coaches and players, uh, mainly my teammates and how frustrated we was, but it gave us motivation to bounce back this season. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned to me last, I guess last fall, you had one of your youngest teams coming mm -hmm. into the season, and then you played the six games. How much further along is this team now after having a season under their belt to get ready for the fall? Well, it was invaluable. I mean, just, just being able to play football in the spring, it was a blessing. And, it, you know, and we were very young. Uh, I think we had 11 seniors last year, which is probably one of the smaller classes we've had. Um, you know, so a lot of these young kids got some valuable minutes in, in every game last year. Um, you know, we started a sophomore sophomore quarterback, um, had a running back that was new to our system. Um, we were pretty new everywhere, and those kids just kind of grew up in, in front of our face. And, and so, you know, seeing uh, their maturity during the season and then seeing uh, just – how they've approached their offseason and everything that they've done. Uh, you better be excited to be a Lancer fan. Five straight appearances in a regional final. How much pride does this program take in that, in that streak? And do you talk about making it a sixth straight year this season? Or how much has that been talked about? Well, I mean, we, we haven't talked about it. You know, I mean, I think the kids know. I think the, the, the standards have been set years ago. I think, yeah, you know, we just really, uh, we challenge our kids to every day come, get 1% better. You know, you really can't ask any more of a, of a high school kid than that. Just do one thing better than what you did yesterday. 